Hey, this is Steve with Coffee Shop Blogger, helping you build a better website. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add social media icons to WordPress. So the type of social media links I'm talking about are ones like this. If I come over to my, my website, Coffee Shop Blogger, and I scroll down, I've got mine in the footer. So I'm talking about these types of links where they're just these icons that link to my social media accounts for my blog, Coffee Shop Blogger. Um, there's also these types of social media icons, but these aren't the icons I'm talking about because these are social share icons. So I've actually got another video on my channel where I show you how to add these share icons. And what these icons do is it allows your visitors to share your blog posts with their social media accounts. So if you want to do that, with your blog, then you can have a look at my tutorial on how to add the social share icons. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the just the icons that points to your your blog's actual social media accounts. So my goal with this channel is to help you build an awesome website and grow your audience and achieve more freedom. And if that's something you're looking for in your business, then why not consider subscribing to the channel? and clicking on the bell icon so you get notified when I put out new videos. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a plugin. So come over to plugins and add new. And you wanna type in just lightweight and it might pop up, here it is. So it's called Lightweight Social Icons and it's created by a guy called Tom Osborne who is the creator of Generate Press. This is Generate Press that I'm using now, you can see. Um, and he's also got this lightweight social icons plugin. So you want to click on install now and activate that. And then to add the icons to your website, you can do two different ways. You can come over to appearance and then widgets. And let's say we want to put it in the right sidebar. You'll see that it's just here, lightweight social icons. And we can click on, we can add it to the right sidebar. So I can move it up, let's put it just there. And it gives us all these different options. And what I'm gonna do is give it a title. So I like follow me. And then these two boxes here will change the size and the border radius. And then there's some color options and then open it in a new window and the alignment and then this button just here is the button that we need to use to add the different social networks. So what I like to do is click on this first and choose my social networks. And I'm just gonna put a hashtag just for this um, example so that we can actually see the icon. And what I'll do is I'll save that for now and then I'll show you the other way that you can add these icons to your website. So if we come over to customize and open that up in a new tab, we can now see that the social media icons have been added. So I've only got one. And if you do it this way, then what you can do is you can actually see it happening in real time. So when you add the icons, you'll see them pop up as you're doing it. And what you need to do is come over to uh, widgets and then right sidebar, and then we can see the lightweight social icons just here. So let's carry on adding some more social networks gonna do Twitter and I'll do YouTube and I'll do Instagram and then the alignment will just align them to the, the left center or the right so that moves them over to the right a little bit and then I prefer them to be in the center and then you can enable this tool tip which basically when you hover over it it shows the name of the social network. I tend to leave that turned off. And then I always make sure that I click on the open links in a new window. So that if someone does click on them, then it'll open the network in a different window and then they stay on my website. And then the size, I can make it slightly bigger. Try 25. And obviously if I make it too big, then they will squash down. I'm going to have them in a row. You could always do something like 
maybe even bigger and it's just two in a row so maybe something like 50 and then it actually gives you um, two columns and two rows you can see them they're really big uh, but I prefer them having a bit smaller than that so I just put them as 25 and I quite like having them in, in, as circles as well so if you do the border radius you can do it to like you know uh, like really rounded so something like 10 but if you wanted them to be a circle then you can actually just put 50 and it turns it into a circle and then with the colors what I like to do is come over to a website called colorhunt.co and when I designed this website I actually found this color palette that I quite liked and I used this palette to um, sort of get an idea of what color I wanted the website to be so we can see the the footer down here is the same color as this one so I'm going to use this color palette here to color the social um, icons so if I hover over this color just here and then it copies that to my clipboard and the first color here is the background color so it's the main background color I can just paste that into here and then that changes the color and then the hover color I'm going to copy this one here and I'm going to keep the text color white the text hover color is also white so if I hover over it now you can see that it's changed the hover color as well and I need to make sure that I save that so click on publish and if you wanted to add the icons in another place on your website as well you can basically put them anywhere there's a widget section so you can put it in the footer as well so I would like to put it just here maybe and um, we've got this footer widget one so I just need to add a widget and then scroll down and I'll need to do the same process as before because there's no way of copying the the one I've just made here I can't copy it and like duplicate it to go here so I just need to go through the same process again so you can see there's loads of different social media accounts that you can actually use you can do a phone number you know Pinterest and um, there's a uh, tumblr twitch so there's quite a lot of options So I scroll down I can now see that in my footer so there's the icons in the footer as well you can put them in this bottom footer as well like the, the footer bar and you could probably put them in a header section as well so that's it for this tutorial I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did like this video and you got some value out of it give it a thumbs up I'll really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.